Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Cast Tax. I just pulled a strap man running out of the garage. Anyways, today I'm gonna I got a couple hours to do some things, and here's what I'm trying to install. I've got a new handbrake, uh, new interior light. This is a license plate, a rear view, another a sun visor mount, a new rear badge, a new airbag, some uh, brake line mounts on the shocks, the rear seat belt. This thing was a pain in the butt when I tried to do it, but it's the clutch pedal. Um, this antenna, I don't know if that's possible without removing the headliner. Doesn't look like it, but we'll figure it out. And then a sticker for the rear view mirror. If you haven't checked out all the other projects, be sure to check the link right here for all the other projects I've done on my 2004 R32, my ice racing machine. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let me show you what I'm working with. Here's my original handbrake. It's missing the silver button there. I don't know why. So I decided just to order a new handbrake or a used one. So this seems pretty straightforward. Unbolt that, loosen the handbrake cables and install that. Let me show you how easy it is here. So you got a 10 millimeter adjustable nut that holds or tensions the handbrake that goes under the back here. And then you got three 13 millimeter nuts and then a wire connector to know if the handbrake's on or not. So I'm gonna wipe down all this crud and crap in here and then install a new one. All right guys, new handbrake is on. Nice and tensioned up to how I like it to feel. Now let's jump on to the next project. Process of elimination, the dome light. So the reason I'm replacing the dome light is because this one is broken. All right, so guys, uh, I just watched this uh, weird website called YouTube. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it gives you nice tutorials. So it says pull this uh, plate off like this, and then you can get to these tabs, which make it easier to pull it off. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, but if you haven't heard of YouTube, you should really check it out. I've heard there's a channel called uh, Gas Tax. Some people say Gustache. But anyways, look up Gustache and you should consider subscribing. So here's the old one. It came out just like I said. Pop this off and then pull these tabs back and voila. So here's the new one. One thing I did see is one of the nine owners updated these to LEDs. So out with these uh, incandescents. In with the LEDs. So that project is done. Look at that fresh. I oh, love these kinds of projects. Anyways, guys, a uh, question for you. Um, I'm uh, mounting quite a bit of parts that are somewhat fine, uh, maybe a little scratched, but still work, uh, that I've upgraded products or changed products. What do you think I should do with these? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, on to the next thing. Uh, 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 let's go for a easy project. So, this seems easy. Let me just do the, the seatbelt clip in the back. I'll do that. Uh, and then what else? What else? And then straight from there, whoa, too close, huh? Straight from there, let's figure out how to redo this antenna. So unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to remove the headliner for this. Focus, focus. So you can see how broken this is and Oh, damn it. I closed the trunk. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, that's broken, so come on, focus, camera. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's broken. Uh, I need to figure out how to replace it. Have the new one right here. It wasn't expensive, but I think uh, the expense of it is actually installing it. So let's do this and jump into looking into how to do that. This project doesn't seem easy. Um, so let me jump into what I watched on uh, this YouTube thing. I gotta remove this, remove this, 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 this. Um, and I think that's all I really need to remove and then hopefully I can pull it down enough to get, cause the bolt should be about here. Whoa, maybe I shouldn't touch this headline. Oh yeah, this headline is, foam is terrible. Rule number one, don't touch headline of foam because it indents now cause it's super old. Uh, it's gonna drive me insane. I'm not replacing the headline. Uh, anyways, so let's do that. 
this 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 all needs to be removed and let's see how it goes well ladies and gents oh, let's not joke around there's no ladies watching this anyways uh here's the old one antenna is broken here's the new one um i don't wish upon anyone to change this you know go down here in here i can't even access uh this wire in here for the antenna but the last guy that had uh this car had an antenna stuck to the windshield in the front and since i got a new radio i think that's what i'm gonna do so this is just gonna be in there for aesthetics unless i can figure out how to actually connect this but then again i don't know if the wire is actually cut all the way to the stereo i'm gonna pick this up tomorrow uh this thing took a lot longer than wanted i knew it was gonna be a pain i've had that thing since i bought this car but it is done uh how many tools do you need all of these and this and these and this and this and this so if you ever want to uh replace your antenna or if you find a guy that's selling r32 and the antenna is broken be sure to knock off at least 500 bucks because of that because it is not fun hey i'll see you tomorrow and just like that it's the next day and my oh my is it a beautiful day what i'm gonna do is actually leave all of this taken apart right now um and put all of this stuff aside because when i do the sound system i don't want to get to a point where i got to remove all this crap again so let's jump on to the next project let's see what's on the table all right, so we have the rear badge we got to stick on. We got the license plate uh, light, at least one of them. We got our visor mount, and then uh, what's it called? The clutch pedal. Let's just block the door from closing. Good thing is this came with the tape on it already. I'll leave a link below. Oh my God, it's reflection. It's actually terrible. I've seen some guys put it at an angle. Um, what is that? I think there's an inside joke there. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that looks good. Stay. When you see me at Wookiees in the Woods, you can judge me if it's wrong. All right, that project's done, looking fresh. Time for the next project. So let's tackle the visor clip that's broken uh, and this clutch pedal. This is done. Yay! All right, next on to the pedal. Pedal's on. So basically, there's like a rubber lip around the inside here that fits around the pedal. Uh, I started with this corner here. I jammed it on, and then basically I took my finger to try pull out this lip on the back, and then a flathead screwdriver, and then push it on. Okay, now for the light for the license plate. Let's see what we got here. We have one complete one and then one missing whole bunch of stuff. So let's remove that and get it replaced. All right, well guys, let's check that out. All done and fresh. Uh, I don't know how cheap that was, but if it's cheap enough, I'm gonna get another one because this one looks a bit cloudy. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, yeah, be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video so I can keep creating this great content because all those thumbs ups, make me tons of money on youtube <laughs> just joking anyways yeah so a lot more projects on here so until next time i'll see you then